Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and I will work today on my Forgotten Memory by Anne-Marie Bone from Dreamers Design Canvas and I'm gonna work with this beautiful blue colors and first of all I want you to please ignore my nails if you will see them in the screen because I started process I need new design and I don't know what to do yet so all I did is clean them up but did not fix it yet and I'm kind of was not comfortable to shoot video with my non-finished nails but I mean at least it's better than was overgrow so all I did is just to clean my nails and take off the layer old layer and now I'm just thinking what I want to do with them so that's kind of holding me because I don't know what kind of design what kind of color I want so I have to chill for one day and think about it because it's gonna be stuck on my nails for about three weeks probably so I really need to like something and today we went to a trailer park and we pick last space that is left <laughs> if it wouldn't if it would be like half an hour later then that spot would be taken as well so the spot that we saw last time when we went up there and we thought okay it's kind of okay big spot but wasn't our favorite spot but to be honest we didn't have a choice it was only that spot that left today so we took it we pay already money for the season the whole price we just need to sign some paper that we're gonna follow the rules forever they need to do this for this time of the season and maybe next year we will get something better who knows so for now that's we're just happy to finally have a spot and it's a uh, close to the lake as well it's just like one trailer over so the trailers with the lake on the top and we just like in the second row so that's okay a little bit walk not exactly on a lake lake but uh, the owner says it's actually even better because the people who are on the lake often complain and when it's very windy it's cold to stay right on a lake and the wind sometimes can get very strong and pick up the trailer uh, added uh, anic or uh, oh, how you say it the extension they can fly in the wind so okay we got a spot it's actually a big lot so that's good so I didn't record video of the actual spot I will do that when we are gonna set up our trailer so on Monday we're gonna go get a trailer bring it home and it's gonna be another little bit story for you but for now I want to show you what I'm up to if you are a follower on Instagram you probably already saw my beautiful pirate Johnny Depp already finished so please follow me on Instagram Natalia no 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 that's not Natalia XO it's Lovecraft Forever XO for my crafty Instagram you can follow me there and I already posted picture finish so I will show you the picture in here finished maybe later with some other project I don't know so seeing my unboxing video comments looks like lots of you like the roses yes that was my favorite and omg 
thank you to my lovely subscriber well I don't know if Emma I think if she's subscriber or just uh, my viewer she ordered the same dragon before and she say in the comments I think you are missing uh, drills from 10 to 17 so I went right away and I check and she was right I cannot believe myself you know how always I do unboxing and I check always numbers first if I have enough bags with the numbers for this particular canvas I did not look and I did have all those numbers missing from 10 to no I think I have a 10 or from 10 to 17 so all strip of those diamonds I didn't have in my package and that's exactly what she received so that's like a whole I guess order of those dragons was missing drills so thankfully and I posted this in my description box that this dragon is sold out as of right now posted on the website and also I added my comment as a pin comment that dragons is missing lots of drills so I hope uh, you all saw that and you're not gonna order for now well it's out of the stock right now anyway but I just cannot believe myself like the most important thing and I always say I never miss any drills yet and boom the most the bigger missing amount of drills and I did not check numbers I cannot believe myself how that could be happen so I'm so thankful to my viewer who point this out I immediately email to fun sales did not receive email yet I'm actually gonna check like right now to see if they reply or not um, no they did not reply yet so I hope I will get back from them and see what is going on but this is definitely something that very weird I don't know how I missed that I always just see sometimes I think it's like a, it's boring for you on a video to check all the way all the way which you really appreciate that because that way you know what is going on uh, see okay see you, you see my ugly nails right now they are clean and kind of um, well it just need to fill with gel in here and color whatever design I want so at least it's clean but just ignore my hands right now because I don't want to miss it like I, I, I promise you to post video every day and sometimes my nails holding me from recording video so yeah my apology I totally missed on that dragon and somebody uh, comment I can't believe for such a big canvas it's only 10 colors well obviously it's 17 I just totally missed that I cannot forgive myself for that what kind of reviewer I am so I just want you to you know to know this as soon as possible so that I will soon as I record my next video it's gonna be involved this information but the rose canvas oh my god I love it I love it so much I believe it's 45 by what was that 45 by 85 or 55 by um <laughs> I cannot remember right now but that is a big canvas look like it's a good size canvas so definitely I will organize that one next one to do I was cross stitching a little bit today it's much easier for me right now to cross stitch since my nails a little bit shorter I cut quite a bit maybe like this much longer there was like so I, I cut this much long so now I can stitch a little bit more comfortable <laughs> believe it or not it's easier 
and yes the two little canvases that I finish my little cute red Rolf and my pirate so from my little project I might gonna add little ship but maybe for the next month because Catherine asked me today when I'm gonna do her piglet with the chicken from the Moana movie um, so yes I think I will need for to do one canvas for my little girl um, so I'm gonna do her piglet and chicken and then maybe for next month or if I have a time for this month, I will do her um, Harry Potter picture. So for now what I plan, I already finished two. And now it's left this diamond painting that is almost empty. So it's like maybe... Um, 10? 10% may be done only on this canvas so it's gonna take me if I need to work like many hours maybe four or five days maybe I will finish this one because I will um, I will switch with my other ones together let me move you a little bit over So I will switch between this one, my coffee time and cross stitching. So on a daytime I like to do diamond painting because I have a nice good light from the window ahead of me and on a night time I can use my magnifying lamp to do cross stitching. Somebody requested video to show actual how I sit and diamond paint like from the side view so you can see me my position how I work on and they say if if I'm staying or sitting um, I don't think you can stay in diamond paint and that would be I don't think it's possible unless I didn't understand question because I cannot picture me staying in diamond paint but I definitely have a very comfortable position to sit down and diamond paint so I I did not count how many hours per week I diamond paint because I would be probably scared myself if I do so if I would have the timer like people have for the to play game like checkerboard or no um, how you call the other game not the checker chest if I would have you know how they have the timer that you click and you stop if you not ready yet I would love to have that one clock so every time I distract it and walk away to the kitchen or fill my coffee or let puppy outside, I would stop and start when I start diamond painting again. And that would be really interesting to see how many hours per day I diamond paint. But between me and you, shush, be quiet. It's almost like all day long. <laughs> Besides when I need to do something around the house or, you know, feed my family, make some lunch or dinner. Other than that, I'm a crafty girl. Crafting, crafting. So I might gonna shoot, um, I was thinking about the video to show you how exactly I work, my position, and how I keep my stuff, how I sit. But the only thing, I don't have room in here to really set my camera so you can see very well. Because the way my desk stays, 
and my sofa in here it's like there's not much space where I can put my camera to stay uh, without like putting on, a, on the top of a sofa or something because sometimes uh, puppy jump and sleep in here next to me so I don't know if I can find a good angle for that kind of video I will try and by the way I did record video yesterday for my beauty channel about my nails design because I have so many requests how I did that from my last nail design I recorded and I don't like it uh, I don't think I'm gonna post the video I will have to redo it so I'm apologize if you have been waiting but it just everything was wrong and I'm gonna tell you what was wrong because my husband like to have a house cold in the summer literally I'm freezing in the house sometimes that's how much air conditioner is going on in here um, and I like to be nice and cozy warm and snuggle in the house so um, most of the time I have to sit in my house cold because the house getting very cold in the summer so my gel product not <laughs> it's like frozen well it's not frozen but it's not liquidy running like I wanna you know when you put gel a self level gel on your nails and then you keep it a few seconds and gel just spread it out to fill all the cracks and ridges to make a nice and smooth layer well yesterday i was trying to do the video tutorial on my nails tips on the fig nails i put the blob of gel and it stays like this i can't even like even with the brush i cannot smooth it out it was horrible i did finish the tutorial but it doesn't look attractive so i think I'm just rather wait a little bit longer and redo maybe for one day of the purpose of the tutorial I will shut down air conditioner to make my gel warmer and I, I will have to redo it I'm, I'm sorry it just didn't look good So yeah, that's the only thing I don't like on the summer when my house gets very cold inside. Very often I go outside to warm up myself. That's ridiculous. And everybody's like, oh, it's so good. Only me, the one who freezing. Because I'm a skinny chick. I don't have a meat to warm me up. That's ridiculous. I always cold. Okay, where are we gonna move now? I have a uh, lots of this color. Maybe um, let me see. I'm gonna flip from very very edge of the canvas. I'm just gonna move together with you right to beginning of this canvas. This is the top of my canvas, and you see I have a sticker in here. I used to make a tutorial for Dreamer Design. You know when you pull out sometimes this clear sheet and you don't remember where is the right side where is the wrong because if I would put this side flip it will stick really really hard to the canvas so that's a good tip for you if you don't know yet just put some kind of sticker that way you know where is your top of the clear sheet and you're not gonna get trouble by misplacing on the wrong side it will really stick hard to a canvas sometimes can rip the glue out okay so I have in here a little bit just a few bits placed before so yes this canvas is almost empty it's maybe like 10% the only it's finished on this canvas when I was doing tutorial for dreamers design channel so I was using this canvas for tutorials only and I didn't really drill by myself by the way I will not have video tutorials on dreamers design for the month of June where I'm gonna take in a break summer break 
plus there's a, you know com still complications with the to bring new product from China because the borders not everything is closed it's take time so we will resume a little bit later so if you are looking for my tutorials this month uh, please don't wait because it's not going to be there and I'm kind of glad for this break because that way uh, you know it's going to be break time for us as a family and camp a little bit with not me worry that I'm going to be behind on a video or something or not going to have time to record so that's good um, so I'm just going to do I will work of course on Dreamers Design Canvases and time from time post video on my channel uh, because I still I want to finish this one because this was like favorites of all from everybody and also I have this big canvas yet that I already started and I did unboxing on my new canvas from Dreamers Design that I have unboxing video on their channel but I will do on my channel as well and it's gonna be not really like unboxing because you already saw that but not everybody following Dreamers Design so uh, for many of you this is gonna be like new unboxing right and then I will also I want to set up and do kitten up put all the drills into my new container from fun cell because that canvas have uh, over 50 colors and that would be great to have them in the little pink containers and maybe I even take that with me when I'm gonna camp because it's a big canvas so I don't have to worry to run out of canvas so I will be maybe working on it, it would be nice drills container to just grab and walk away I really love the containers that the pink one I do have unboxing if you don't know what I'm talking about and if you are new on my channel please subscribe we are so close to hit 10,000 um, well right now we over 8,000 so soon we're gonna have um, how many subscribers I have now on this channel let me see it's a uh, 8.6 K so we're gonna have a nine soon and I'm just waiting I'm waiting patiently because of the situation even at school kids and teachers not allowed to exchange the gift for the end of the season of school um, so same thing I wouldn't be um, wanted to like send them right now gift because of the stuff and who know who else touching those boxes like my family everybody's healthy but you don't know who else receiving and touching those packages so after virus go all away I will do giveaway so you don't want to miss it and of course it's going to be for my subscribers so might as well subscribe because lots of you watching my video without subscribing I think it's like 60% or 50 more than 50% who's watching my video are not my subscribers yet I always glad to see new people my Facebook group with new name Lovecraft forever now it's so please join me up there and share your projects we always love to see what you're doing Who wants to see me start on uh, those little cute puppies? Uh, doggy, two doggy, cross stitching. Comment below if you do. And maybe I will take that cross stitching with me to the campsite. I really want to see if I will be able to actually record video up there 
Um, I just I don't know if you're gonna like it because it's a campground. It could be lots of noises coming out from outside from other people. I don't know, <laughs> but we will try. It's just gonna be like a really friendly vlogging crafty videos but time from time of course I will make sure I record some at home as well so it's nice and peaceful quiet my dog sleeping don't bother nobody right now the only he's wild when my husband get home he is so happy to see him then he would jump all over and you would hear those tick 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 those Class on the floor him run back and forth he literally go like lay down like my husband sitting on the chair computer chair on his desk and puppy would jump with front paws on his lap and put his head on his chest under his neck and it's like oh my god it's so much love up there so much I'm your friend, you know, that's like best friend. He just wanna cuddle to him so badly. Yes, he's a very good dog. And the campsite is a puppy friendly camp. It just, he need to be on a leash, not just running around freely. So we do understand that. I think I already get off the camera a little bit. Okay, I see a few symbols in here. So that, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going like all the way around canvas and doing one color at a time. And trust me, if you would try like this, it's, it's much faster to complete because you don't have to change a color too often. It's really work for me. I cannot imagine myself to work by just like a one little square. It would be driving me nuts to change colors this often. Okay, let's see where we are right now. Right this one spot. I really have to remember to look on the camera more often. Sometimes I chat and forget and, and go off the camera. And I know you're screaming up there, come on, you're not in camera. I wish I could hear you. So I have one more unboxing video already, and I will post that video maybe like, uh, maybe like, you know, three days from the other three, four, whatever, just to have something to show you. So. The other next unboxing mostly it's all little canvases. So for those who don't like big canvases, this is like a little cool project. Some canvases that maybe your husbands or your boys will like to have. So watch out for that one. Oh, I absolutely love my pirate that I finish. I know I keep talking about it. He looks so good from far. It's like first when I was drilled and his eyes kind of purple. I was like, wow, that doesn't look like eyes. Then the eyes step back and it's like, wow, it is so amazing. So I was staring a little bit yesterday on my canvas, enjoying. It was a piece of cake. It was so much, it was fast to do. Okay, where we are. Okay, let's start from the top and move down. So we are right in here. I think after this video, when I record and while video will be um, do some editing. 
I will prepare just for in case I want to prepare that roses canvas just to get the diamonds ready I want to see first diamonds that I have left over see how many colors I have already so my pirate I used only a few colors open new bags the rest of I finished with all my leftovers from my stars so that was pretty amazing that I have already so many colors that I did not need it to open new bags and I'm just gonna keep them and when they do some my custom my own diamond painting um, the way I teach you how to do of course you can order empty blank canvas on Aliexpress if you want it I'm gonna link it up for you actually under this video if you want to because um, the way I did my tutorials how to create custom diamond painting by yourself at home um, I can print that just on like on a regular papers computer uh, printer papers and later glue them together or you can buy you know like expensive printer that I think I found on Amazon that can print big canvas uh, but that one like over thousand dollars I think printer uh, but you can definitely can order blank canvas whatever size you need on Aliexpress and you just create your pattern and on a blank canvas is like a cross stitch and on an empty canvas without printed picture that's the way you do in diamond painting if you want to create by yourself something very treasurous like your family members picture maybe your pets so that's a great idea and blank canvas is not very expensive and they have a different grids uh, different sizes but it is double sided tape of course so I will link it up for you couple stores maybe you can choose if you want to order or not I'm just thinking maybe I will order like a big roll so I can cut on the pieces as big as I want it by myself we'll see I still have a $200 gift card since my birthday and I did not use yet finally yesterday open up uh, store winners one of my favorite stores but definitely they did not bring anything new into the store it looks pretty empty somehow but I did manage to buy a few things it's makeup I don't know I'm getting addicted to makeup I'm gonna show you right now right in here right now has nothing to do with diamond painting <laughs> but I'm gonna show you I'm just squeeze in here and show you so here is what I got I got a two palettes right let's see they have a this cover sheet that uh, names oh no this one sheet I think the names on the actual palette okay I'm not gonna there's a sticky tape in here to pull out this sheet that protecting but I mean the colors are beautiful all this gold one I did not swatch yet so this one like is like a more uh, soft colors and then I have one more same uh, profusion oh, you, you seen my tripod profusion confidence and then another profusion this one like a more fancy um, this one have a brush with it. this one doesn't have a brush but more eyeshadow and here's the colors of this one um, I like this like a press pigments um, this one how can I show you from this side hold on Th this one is very very pretty 
So this one a little bit more cooler shades in here. This one is so beautiful looking. I really want to do swatches, but maybe I will do video swatches. So yeah, that, this one kind of like fancy. Those words are sticking out like 3D. So this one ten dollars. Original was priced twenty four. There was a markdown and then markdown again ten dollars. And so is this one ten dollars as well. And original was seventeen. Then went to twelve. Then ten. So I love to buy makeup and winners because it has a good quality makeup up there but for very cheap. They have this all this high-end makeups up there which a lot of them I already have and they usually how you know it's a high-end because they would be in those box with magnet um, like locked up you cannot steal them because some people like to steal stuff or put their fingers in it so that's why they locked in a little secure boxes when the makeup like you know 50 60 dollars and then you can buy them for 30 or 40 so they always locked like Anastasia Beverly Hill or um, some high-end makeup okay where we are so I was happy to put my hands on something new again. I'm turning into collector. I'm just gonna be playing this makeup and you know maybe shoot some videos. Snap a picture for Instagram and wash face. <laughs> I love makeup. When I was in my 20s, uh, I had only probably like one palette of cheap makeup. There's not much I could afford back then to buy. And I needed makeup that has like a specific like bright blue colors because mostly what I needed makeup it's for a stage makeup. When I was dancing uh, you have to have a uh, lots of makeup on your eyes so the audience could see eyes far away from a stage so the you have to have a uh, like specific makeup for the stage to perform and now in my 50s I have more makeup than I ever need I should do video collection for that. I have so many new makeup that I bought it before virus and I never swatched them and I never touched them yet because I was planning to do video and I never got my hands to that and I'm sorry I'm talking about it. It's probably totally not interesting to you because obviously you're not on that channel. You come here to craft with me but I just have to keep talking to you to keep you busy <laughs> <laughs> you know we having a fun um, okay let's move over a little bit to the other side we're just gonna go around the canvas to open new area we're just gonna create a couple more maybe another 10 minutes of video well till this video stop so you have something to somebody to drill with you together whatever you're doing today I want to keep you company to be honestly I thought I'm not going to be able to create video today because I didn't know what time we will be back home from uh, looking for the park to put trailer on but we kind of went there around nine o'clock so it went kind of quick but right now as I record it's already 1 30 till I finish with my video and upload 
it's probably gonna be a little bit late maybe around three or four depends how fast my computer will work today sometimes upload very fast sometimes turning like all day long so I'm hoping I'm hoping to post this video right today as I recording And Sunday, I don't know, let me know if you still want a video on Sundays or Sunday's day off. I think sometimes I'm taking a day off, sometimes I post video, I don't know. Because what, what you doing on Sundays usually? Same old, staying home, doing nothing? L let me know. Oh, I love drills from dreamers design so much they they are so even so smooth no sharp edges it's really pleasant to work on it okay beautiful sunny day outdoors yesterday mama squirrel came to my window with with one baby I don't know if she's taking them one by one to show them how to move around this yard but the mama was so poor looking her fur is changing I guess so her back like where's the neck area and around her sides almost the fur is like Catherine says, oh, what's wrong with squirrel? She got scared that squirrel got hurt or something. But that was just like changing the fur. And she has a bare spots on her. And the little baby jumped on a window together next to her. So that way we knew that's mama. Oh, cute, cute. So we put them seeds. Pumpkin seeds and flower, sunflower seeds on a window for them to snack on. I don't think baby can eat them, but I'm sure mama was enjoying with them. My husband don't like the idea I feed the squirrels because he wants to give rid of them. And it's my entertainment. I like to watch them through the window. So as my pets love to look at them. I would show you my pirate canvas right now, but I put last night into my craft room. I actually roll it on the other side, like diamonds up side, sideway, because the edges were kind of like a crawling up a little bit to the top. So when I roll the opposite way, it will straighten up my canvas a little bit better. And then just keep away for now. To like get the proper size frame. I didn't check on a frame yet because I just finished that last night. And I told you I'm gonna keep the canvas as a like a relaxation to do in between. I just couldn't stop. <laughs> I couldn't stop. I started and it just okay. One more color. One more color. It's already midnight and I'm still not wanna go sleep. I wanna work on it. So I finish the canvas around don't be <laughs> don't say nothing <laughs> about one o'clock and I went to sleep happy <laughs> I rolled the canvas after I finish I always roll first just make sure my diamonds not gonna get loose and fall out just in case I didn't play straight on the canvas but I did not do straighten up lines yet, so I will do them, I think, for the canvas uh, before I will show it to you or even before I will frame, just to make sure it looks good before I frame. So yeah, I don't feel like I'm getting tired, I just love what I'm doing. Okay, I have left maybe like three minutes 
for this video and my camera will stop so I'm just gonna be quickly uploading this video and work by myself a little bit to finish at least this one color all the way around this canvas because looks like I have lots of this symbol around here okay I'm trying to find a where right there went today to liquidation store it's open didn't find nothing interesting up there I was hoping to see some crafty interesting stuff I went to a dollar store didn't buy nothing oh just bought me some hat for the summer jeans hat with some sparkle gems on it and with mustache on the top <laughs> I'm crazy I'm telling you I'm acting sometimes like 20 years old not in my age for sure I don't want to be older if I am act young I feel young that's all okay Here's the little square. So I thank you for staying with me today together. Let me know if you want a video tomorrow on Sunday. And I will create something. Maybe I will shoot short video on different canvas. And let me know if you want to watch me cross stitch in those two puppies from Fun Cell. And I'm off the camera. All right. So thank you so much for watching today. As you can see, I have lots to go. Lots to go. We're working on this big tree in here. And if we turn around, what we're going to see, not much because this canvas big and how much I can zoom out at this point so just a little bit mostly I started to do this confetti in here very very sparkle I love it canvas gonna be so beautiful and I outlined the bench and rest of is nothing rest of is if I can move together with the see it's like it's empty canvas a little bit red on this tree, a little bit blue on this tree. That's it. So lots to do, but this is definitely fun to do and very joyful. Thank you, and I see you later.